Now, here's the important part about making your own fish fingers, the way you cut the fish. Most people think you cut it a long That's way. That's what I would have thought. No, there's little sort of runs across the side. If you cut there, it won't fall apart when you fry it. Otherwise, oh. when you fry it, it will fall apart. And is that cod? This is a bit of cod or some hake or haddock, whatever you like. Anything sustainable, that's what you're looking for. And then you just make that into there. It's any size you want. I like them really big and chunky. Yeah. Like moto moto. Yeah. Uh, nice and chunky. And then simply, if you can hear that noise, hear that noise? That Fizzle. splattering? That means it's time to turn them. Oh. Because what's happening now is the water's starting to come out of the fish. So it means that you're ready to turn ah, over. Ah, that's so, very the, tip. Yeah. It's the noise rather than the actual smell or the sight of it. What are your breadcrumbs then? So the breadcrumb mixture is half polenta and half breadcrumb. Oh, because... controversial. You're not a big polenta fan. I don't like polenta. What does I'm that sure mean? I'm going to like them like this. I just don't like it in like salads and stuff. It should, it's like couscous. should just be packing material. You don't need to eat it. No, I'm, I'm sort of, but what this does is they stay crispy. Ah. It also means when you can make them like this, you can freeze them yourself at home. Oh, okay. And then you can cook them out, take them out and cook them from, freeze, from frozen. Ah. From freezen. Mix the flour first, of course. You, sorry, you cook them from frozen? Yeah, you cook them from frozen. And you're frying them from frozen? Yeah. And, and you will... still wait for that sizzle? Yes, and as soon as you hear that noise, then you turn over exactly. and do the same thing, yeah. Egg, which is just mixed with a little bit of salt, because that means it's, it's liquid. If you don't mix it with salt, the egg will still be too slimy. So mix it with salt becomes very, very liquid. How much salt? Well, that just a, just a, a pinch of salt. Okay. Half breadcrumbs, half polenta. And also, the other thing is, when you use polenta, you get a golden crust all over. You'd rather it being just sort of a mixture of sort of dark and light. OK. Put it in and then pat it. Pat it down, turn it over, do it like that, and then that's, that's it. And that salt tip on that egg is brilliant. And you do, well, if you do it with anything, when you make a cake or whatever you like, I've just got to put my hands in the net. Oh, yeah, I've given them a quick wash. Um, wash. Th that's amazing, because normally you put it up and it's all gloopy and it doesn't quite... That's it. Wow. Now, can you hear that oil again? Yeah. yeah, they're done. So now they're done. Are they? Well, yeah, which is really clever. So as soon as you've done that, there's enough heat sitting in here that these are ready to go. And you see they're sort of... Because oh, of the polenta, they're lovely and crispy. Pull them out when they're nice and hot. And what happens then is that oil will drain off a lot faster. If your oil is too cold, you'll get greasy fish. How amazing is that? Yeah. So that's Incredible. that, done. That there is a lovely loaf of bread. A fish finger sandwich, can you cut me two big slices, please? Yes. Well, no because pressure. Because a, a fish finger sandwich needs bread. thick fillet. Is that too thin? Come on, look. I know you're, That's better. Now, two of those, that's more like it. Right. Two door stops. Proper My bread. Because it's about... The great thing about food is food is about flavour and texture. So you need the flavour and the texture together. So Are if... you a vinegar man? I'm, yeah. a... I'm a vinegar man. Are you a vinegar? Yeah, man. Right, so, fish finger sandwich. Take your bread. First thing, really important, is lots and lots of this, which is your tartar sauce. Is that both... got the peas in it? No. That's without peas? Yeah, this is no peas, because this is for you. Not no peas. Whatever they're called, snow peas. Right, okay. take your fish fingers. Yeah. And then as many as you possibly can... I'll use my fingers. Sorry. Like fish finger Jenga. This is like, they're going to take that and put that on top of there. Oh my god. Lettuce, gosh. tomato, and bacon, because we make a fish finger BLT. Oh. Bacon yes. in it? Yeah. Bacon and, bacon and fish? Bacon and fish. Bacon, monkfish, salad. bacon and fish. Yum. Yeah. I guess it's all right. right. I was all right that. until it went salad. Come on. And then. But the other thing, the good thing about this is you've got fish fingers and your five a day all in one thing. Oh, how the hell are you going to get your mouth around that? I don't know. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to teach you guys how to make Is that it. enough? Yes, that's perfect. Now, good. Go and do that, Holly. Now what I want you to do is push down as hard as you possibly can. There you go. Oh, that's it just it. went squid. Yeah. Texture and flavour and... Now, right, go on. Come, uh, come. There is no way yeah, yeah. I can get... Of course you can. I can't get my mouth round that. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Take that bit of fish finger there, Holly. I'm taking this one. Hey, gorgeous. Isn't that good? Mm. And all it is is bread and bits and pieces. Now, if you take your peas and you just mm. put them in a bowl, but this is here. Look. Try a spoonful of those, because I don't know where my plate's gone. Here you go, Philip. Vinegar. Oh, there you go. There you go. Try a spoon that. But the thing about... You look, you can buy fish fingers, absolutely, mm. but the difference is, how good is that? Mm. Your children will eat their veg, and you got yourself something lovely. I love a pea sandwich. The peas. pea sandwich. Oh, just the pea. Just, a, just garden peas with butter on white bread. Those peas are another level of pea, and the crispy, crisp thing on this... 
is another level of crisp. Good. <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to be told that my pee was another level. Well, that's always something quite exciting. But the fish fingers, aren't they just the aces? Oh, my goodness, he's seasoning my food. Thanks for... <laughs> I'm just having a bit of pepper on there. I'm just putting a bit of pepper but on there. Now, now, listen, when you eat like this, right, it's a really important bit, is the crunch. <laughs> the crunch thing sends a signal to your brain saying that what you're eating is really good. So you I'm actually really enjoy it more. So food with texture and flavour, I love that you're eating them like that. Aren't they just fantastic? They're they are so good. They're some of the best fish fingers I've ever eaten in my entire life. And the great thing is, you just open them up and look, there they go. Oh, I know, look at I know, that. I know. Do you oh. know, this is just so... I don't want to I do anything my life. else today, but pull up a chair, sit here and just eat all of this. Yeah. You, you can be a lemon fan, a vinegar fan, a gherkin fan. Have a I gherkin don't like, on the I don't side. like a gherkin. You don't like gherkin? No, I'm not oh. a gherkin. Pickled onion, not a gherkin. You like a pom-pom? I love a... If it was a pom-pom-shaped gherkin... See, better facial expression <laughs> Not even Philip then. making fish fingers and pom-poms. <laughs>